What's going on guys, Gia22 here today with a kind of a different video. I'm going to show you how to capture your gameplay from your PlayStation 4, take that gameplay to your computer, edit it, and then upload it to YouTube or um, to through anything you want. I'm just going to show you how to get it from your PlayStation to your laptop without using a game capture card. So I do have an Elgato game capture card, but this is how I used to uh, make my videos. So all you want to do is go to your settings, go to your sharing and broadcast. So this is what you want to do before you uh, capture your gameplay. Go to video clip settings, your length of your video clip. So um, there are options here. You have 30 minutes all the way up to 60 minutes. You can set it to anything you want. Really just kind of depends what kind of video you're making or what do you want to capture. Um, just a heads up, the longer you have your video clip, so if I set it to 60 minutes, the frames per second and quality may go down a little bit. It's not going to be as smooth as it would be on, you know, an Elgato or something like that. But I mean, it's it's still, it's going to be pretty high quality. It's a great cheap thing you can do. And it's, it's, it's still very, very good. So you're going to set it to whatever you want. I'm just have mine on five. So then you're going to go, oh, okay, just install Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so share button, control type. Um, if you have it on easy screenshots, um, either one doesn't really matter. So if you record a gameplay, or let's say you're playing a game, and you do something pretty cool in your game. Let's say you hit a cool collateral or something. And you want to save that on the spot. You didn't, you know, you didn't, you weren't recording. You click the share button. You're going to come down here. So you'll have to upload the video clip, which just uploads it straight to Twitter or whatever you want. You don't want to do that. Screenshot, you don't. Okay, start share play. Save screenshot. So right under save screenshot, I haven't done it because I'm not actually playing a game or something right now. There's going to be save video clip right under this, right in between save screenshot and sharing broadcast settings. You're going to press square. It's going to say press square, so you can either press square or you can just go all the way down here and just click X or square. It doesn't really matter. And that will save the video clip and it will save it. It will save the last five minutes or however long you set this to of the gameplay. So if you don't want to do that way, so let's say you're like, okay, I'm going to make a video right now. I know I'm going to start the video. You're going to press the, the share button twice. So you're going to double click the share button. And so it says gameplay is currently not being recorded. But that's because I have an Elgato on right now. And it's, um, it's, it's prohibiting me from uh, recording it or something because of I have to, you have to enable. Anyways, it's going to pop up in your left screen, in your left corner. And it's going to pop up a red button or a red uh, dot it's gonna say and that's gonna be it's gonna sh tell you that it's recording so when you're done recording um, depending on again your video link settings if you're gonna do it this way I would put it on 60 minutes because you can stop it whenever you want if whatever you have your length or if you clip on it will stop at that at that time so if you have it at one minute and you double click it it will stop it after one minute but if you have it on 60 minutes, you can record 40 minutes of it, and then you double click it again, and it will stop. And it will pop up and say, game, gameplay recording has been saved. So once you do that, you've recorded your gameplay. You want to get that gameplay to a flash drive. So if you have a flash drive, preferably uh, bigger gigabytes, the better, because it's easier to get them over to the flash drive and then onto your computer you'll have more space. So you're going to go down to um, you're going to go down to your T no no my bad. Uh, I have my stuff uh, capture gallery. You're going to go to your capture gallery. Um, let's just go to my Call of Duty. I saved a 2 minute 34 deal uh, 2 minute 34 second clip here. I'm going to press options on that. And then you're going to see the second from the top it says copy to USB storage device. You're just going to click that, and then it gives you the option to select a lot of them. So if you want, you know, like have you have a bunch of clips you want to save, uh, copy over, uh, you can. 
Um, you can also just go to all, and so like if you have multiple games, you can just go to all of these. Say I have Rocket League, I'm, you know, oh, okay, so if I wanted to just copy this and a Rocket League and another Call of Duty, another Rocket League, I could do that. So I'm just going to copy this um, Call of Duty deal over right now, so I'm going to press copy. So then this shows you where the clips are going to be on your USB drive. Um, should be easy to, to follow or, and to see once you get over there, but it's going to say uh, video clips are copied to PS4. Then you go to share, then you go to video clips, and it's going to have the game. So you're going to press OK on that. Then it's going to copy over. Uh, depending on the length of the clip, it's going to take longer or shorter. All right, so I'm going to see you over at the computer for the next part of the tutorial. All right, guys, back here on the computer. So I am using my MacBook Air laptop to uh, record this um, video and also to edit my videos. This is how I upload to YouTube. Um, I don't have the best computers, I just have a laptop, but this is what I use. So easy for you guys um, to just kind of, you know, beginner stuff. So I have my um, flash drive here, GHead flash drive. This is the flash drive with the gameplay from the PlayStation 4. So you have my Elgato here in uh, YouTube. So you can use any um, any editing software you want for this, but just for the sake of this, I'm gonna use iMovie. Um, so you're gonna go to iMovie, and if you have a PC, you can use any um, Windows Movie Maker or whatever editing software you have OBS Sony Vega whatever you have but just for the sake of this video I'm using iMovie I'm not sure how anything else works but this is how I know how to do it so you're going to um, if you have iMovie you just go to where you or if you don't just go to where you create your movies so I'm here at iMovie I'm gonna click this I have my GHUD uh, I don't know why it has two, but I have my G HUD flash drive here. Um, I have another my intro saved here, but here's where the folder is: is PS4. This is your flash drive PS4 where it said on PS4 where the where your clip will be. So you click this, you click share, you click video clips. Then it has all your games that you have made. Um, you have saved your video clips from the PlayStation and copied them over to your flash drive. So I'm going to Call of Duty World War II. I have a 1.4 minute clip that I'm going to take here. I'll import it. It's going to be right here. And then, you know, you move it here. And then it plays perfectly. Yeah, you see you have the whole clip here. This one's a clip of my friend. Um, Zach actually getting a nice little 1v5 clutch, but here it is. This is the clip from PlayStation, just perfectly copied over from the USB drive. He, I plugged my USB drive into his PlayStation and did this right before the video, copied it over. You can see that it is, you know, pretty good quality. Um, see, it's a little laggy there at first. That's just the PlayStation itself. That's not actually the video. You can see that it runs smooth. You know, awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. So this is a pretty simple and quick way you can get your video from your PlayStation to your computer, upload it to YouTube. Um, the next step is obviously uploading it to YouTube. It's going to be different for everybody, but for the iMovie, just for you guys who are using iMovie, you go to share. And then I don't go straight, straight to YouTube just because I think it's... Yeah, I like to um, put it as a file just so I have it as a file, uh, which is kind of easier for me. Uh, resolution, um, depending on, uh, you know, with the PS4 and everything, this one's at 720. Sometimes it'll be 8, 8, 1080p. Um, I like to compress it better quality. So you compress it. Um, you compress it. I save all mine to my YouTube folder. So this is where my movies will come from. So you can say I have my digital story there, but um, I delete most of them. So I have this Rocket League video that I exported here. And then you go to YouTube, upload it, select this folder. Easy as that. So guys, that's basically it. I mean, that's pretty one of the most simple ways to 
get your videos from your PlayStation 4 to the laptop to YouTube or your so uh, editing software. You can go straight straight from the PlayStation to YouTube, but then you don't have any editing. You can't add effects. You can't cut it. You can't um, put your intro. It's really difficult. So that is the easiest way, in my opinion, to get your videos from your PS4 to your computer or laptop. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. Thanks for all the love that you guys have been showing me over the past few weeks. I hope you guys all have a great day and a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.